Whenever you're doing a verbal problem, read only a few words, three, four, five words before write something down. This question has some extra information in it. How do you know if it's extra information? If you read those four or five words and there isn't an operation or some action going on. So this question begins with one season Pete Rose scored. Well, that's very nice, but there's no addition or subtraction, multiplication or division, or an equal sign there or any exponents. So I'm going to cross that out. Even though scored, you might think is addition. If we read further, he scored three fewer. Now that means I'm going to put a blank minus three. Just like if someone were three fewer years of my age, you would do my age minus three. The runs. If I scored 10 runs and you scored three fewer runs than the teacher, it would be 10 minus three. So let's go back to the question. Three fewer runs than twice. So in this blank, I'm going to put the two times, because twice means two times, twice the number of runs he batted in. So batted in means that he hit the ball and some people scored because he hit the ball. So I'm going to use B for either batted in or hitting the ball. So then twice the number of runs he batted in is this part of the problem. He scored 103 runs that season. So that means it equals 103 runs. How do I know that it's equals? Well, because up here it says Pete Rose scored, and down here it says he scored 103 runs. Pete Rose scored three fewer. So this is an implied equation. Implied means you've got to read through the lines, read between the lines. How many runs did he bat in? Draw the big line and start solving. Are there any terms to combine here on the left-hand side? No. How do I know? Because all the Bs are in one location. There's an add or subtract, and then the integers. Over here, there are just integers. And by integers, I also mean that you can have some mixed numbers or rationals. Let's start by adding 3 to both sides. We add 3 because we want to get rid of addition and subtraction first, and then get rid of multiplication and division. The negative 3 and positive 3 cancel each other out, and we have 106 on the right-hand side, 2b on the left-hand side. We now have multiplication going on, so we can eliminate the multiplication by doing the opposite, which is division. We divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get b equals, sorry, not 103, equals 53. Let's check. He batted in not as many runs as he scored. One season, Pete Rose scored three fewer runs than twice the number of runs he batted in. So if we take twice the batted in, and take three fewer than that, it should be the number of times he scored. And that is correct. The question makes sense.